Hello, I'm Rob Stokely. I'm here today to talk about the new range of Veritas custom bench planes. There are five bodies to choose from and four simple choices for you to make. We assemble your components here at Axminster so you don't have to. Stage one, when you choose your plane body, either a four, four and a half, five, five and a half or seven, these are the initial components. The body, in this case a number five, cap iron, a lever cap and a Norris style adjuster. The next choice is the blade, either traditional 01 or PMV 11, which is as easy to hone as 01, but which retains its edge for significantly longer. Try it on some teak to see what I mean. Using the supplied hex key, I've now assembled the chip breaker onto the cutter. So you're now you're ready to move on to stage two, which is selecting the frog. You can choose a 40 degree low angle frog, a 45 degree standard angle frog, or a 55 degree middle pitch frog. I'm going to fit a standard angle 45 degree frog into this plane. Locating firstly the frog bolt, which looks about right there. And then turning over the frog, you can see that it locates into the casting by means of a couple of machined lugs. And it's held in place by two tiny hex bolts. Now these are slightly fiddly to get in place, so you're going to have to bear with me while I find the thread. So there's the first one started. Now there's the second one started and it's going in nicely. Tightening up the first one, tightening up the next one. They're nice and tight and secure. Next goes the Norris style adjuster, pops into the hole there making sure that the spigot is upright. Then we fit the blade, and then finally the lever cap, just adjusting the screw to get a nice snug fit. Tighten that down, not over tight, but just enough to hold it. So now I can move on to stage three, choosing the tote. There's a standard Veritas and a traditional style and each is available in small, medium and large. And all totes are made from heat treated Canadian maple. I'm going to fit a medium sized traditional tote onto this number five. So I'm undoing the captive nut. I slide on the tote, replace the nut, select a flat bladed screwdriver, tighten up reasonably tight and there's the tote fitted. The final stage is the front knob. There's a choice of three styles, wide, standard and tall. I'm going to fit a wide knob onto this number five complete with its washer. And all it does, it just drops on there and you screw it in place. Tighten up all that needs to be done now is to set up the plane and take a few shavings. Having set a fine mouth and adjusted the cutter, let's see what it does on this nasty piece of elm. They don't come much better than the new Veritas custom range. Thanks for watching.